Greetings, Commanders. Radlock here with a special treat, a behind-the-scenes look at the 2000th rescue performed by the Fuel Rats. Like many rescues, it all starts with the rat signal. A commander in need, stuck in one of the Aurai sectors. This particular one isn't in the database, but I can find one nearby that is. Using the coordinates from that database entry, I can track down this system, since the search function is currently not working for system names with more than two spaces. This will fortunately be fixed in the next update, but it's a bittersweet change, as the art of hunting for a system like this with only coordinates to guide you will become obsolete. But we'll be more than happy to have a more effective search function. With the client's stated location targeted, I head out and check how many jumps it'll take to reach the system, and advise dispatch so that they know what rats are available to support the case. Usually, one or two rats will be assigned, unless there is a case red scenario where a client has exhausted all of their fuel and is now depleting oxygen out of their life support system. And that means all hands on deck. After arriving in the system, I receive a friend request from the client so that they can invite me to their wing and set up the wing beacon for me to lock onto. One thing to always check after getting that friend request is whether the client is in the system that they originally specified or if a course correction needs to be made. It is not uncommon for the reported system to actually be the system the client has targeted instead of the one they're currently in which was the case here, so I adjust my destination and advise dispatch of the client's actual location as I charge my FSD for the jump in. Engage. When I arrive in the system, I notice the client has indicated that they sent me a wing invite. However, I do not see a notification that the invite came across. This suggests a peer-to-peer -peer communication problem, which I often test by attempting to send a text chat message to the client. This test message can take some time to go through as the game servers attempt to establish the communication between the two clients. But ultimately, if there are issues that cannot be resolved with the existing client connections, a transmit error will be returned. The only resolution for this is either to log out to the main menu or completely restart the game and get a new connection to the server. So I notify dispatch of the problem and proceed with restarting the game after I finish the detailed scan of this system star. Fuel rats gotta make money somehow. After logging back in, I see that I've got a wing invite from the client. Before going to that, I send a quick text chat message to confirm I can transmit. Once in the wing, I tab over to select the client and activate navlock on them so that I can drop on their wing beacon. Targeting the beacon, I see it's a short distance away at roughly 1400 light seconds. Now, the way wing beacons work with navlock is based on a multiplicative factor of 5 on the maximum supercruise speed in the area of the system that the beacon is placed. The further away the beacon is from any gravity wells, the larger that radius is. The manual drop distance for a beacon, where you can safely disengage without navlock, is fixed at 3 million meters regardless of where in the system the beacon is, so navlock is a greatly preferred approach to reaching someone, when it works. Instancing, such as the communication issues I've already encountered on this case, are the bane of our existence as fuel rats, where despite doing everything right, we are still at the mercy of peer-to-peer -peer connectivity in order to actually reach and rescue clients. Now, with a speed of roughly 35 times the speed of light, the navlock drop distance for this wing beacon should be around 175 light seconds, which is a whole hell of a lot better than 3 million meters. And no instancing issues present themselves on the drop, so I can see the client and immediately proceed to put myself in range for refueling. There is a small delay in loading the limpet with fuel before it can be launched, as limpets are bought empty in the munitions depot, and another delay after the limpet attaches itself to the client and can finish delivering its fuel. These delays can be critical to consider when operating in a case red scenario, where the client is depleting oxygen and every second counts. We have lost commanders where the limpet had finished its job, but the fuel could not be transferred from the client's main tank into their active fuel reserve fast enough to power the life support system. As a result, if you have less than 45 seconds of oxygen remaining, your odds of a successful rescue are minimal at best. I indicate to dispatch that I am refueling the client, which lets them know that I had no issues getting into the same instance as the client after locking onto the wing beacon. In a case red scenario, a dispatcher will be very anxious to hear these words. Now, an average offload of limpets for any given case will usually be around four tons. This is enough to fill up a sidewinder with extended tanks, Eagles, Vipers, and other starter ships, which is the majority of our cases. 
It's a rat's personal preference on how much they want to lower their jump range by carrying extra tons of limpets. With refueling completed, I check on the client to make sure they're good to reach their intended destination, exchange pleasantries, and offer some advice if they're looking to learn some more about the galaxy, and perhaps in particular, why they got into this situation, and what things they might do to prevent it in the future. Some will offer us cargo, many will ask us what is owed, and the response I give is that no compensation is required. Just spread the word and fly safe. With this rescue completed, I set out to return to base. Whether you're new to the galaxy and learning the trials and tribulations of fuel management, a seasoned explorer that made a miscalculation or fell asleep at the helm, or a battle-frenzied pilot keeping your eyes on the prize instead of the fuel bar, the Fuel Rats are here to get you where you need to go, safe and fueled. You just have to remember two things. We have fuel. You don't. Any questions? Call the Fuel Rats. <laughs>